And now, a zone at 913, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! You've probably already made up your mind as to whether or not you're going to watch Borat's subsequent movie film delivery of prodigious bride to American regime for make benefit once glorious nation of Kazakhstan, also known as Borat 2. Look, you either couldn't wait to watch it, or you've known that you were going to avoid it at all costs. And I don't think my review is really going to tip those scales for you, but I figured I would give you my thoughts anyway in hopes that it can help keep perspective over what you're watching or what you're missing out on. As someone who appreciates both the lowest brow of humor and political satire, Borat and other characters that Sasha Baron Cohen has portrayed is usually right up my alley. Borat 2 was no different, but for a mockumentary consisting of political satire tightly wrapped in lowbrow humor, I can see how it could be easy to lose sight of what Cohen has set out to do with this project. For example, I'm willing to bet it would be difficult for most to remember more of the specific interview subjects from the first film over how many Borat catchphrases you walked away with, and this subsequent film definitely addresses the cultural impact of its predecessor. But even after 14 years in similar Cohen projects, it's become a bit easier to decipher which interview subjects were savvy to the ruse, which scenes were staged, and which scenes contained genuine reactions. And while there was a lot to laugh about, I found myself a bit more disturbed than amused by some of the unknowing subject reactions. Regarding that already infamous Rudy Giuliani scene, while I do have my own thoughts about it, that's not really for a generalized review. And like your choice to either watch or avoid the movie, you've probably already made up your own mind about it. But I will say one thing, this is the first time I've been upset at the news for spoiling a pretty major scene in a movie. Cut! That's a wrap!